This is my water. I get it from my tap. State Representative Lori Gramlich is the sponsor of the plastic bottle ban. She represents Old Orchard Beach right on the Atlantic. We know that there's a lot of plastic waste in our ocean, and this is a step in the direction to, to begin to hopefully decrease some of that. Gramlich sees this as an issue to improve the environment and public health. I do feel it's very important that we assure that all Mainers have access to clean water and that we can get it directly from our taps. In the bill's first public hearing today before the Environmental and Natural Resources Committee over Zoom, the food and beverage industry, grocery stores and truckers, along with bottled water producers like Maine's Poland Spring, testified in opposition, citing the negative financial impact on their businesses and employees. It's the single most redeemed item in the state. Don Cook owns Rolando's Redemption Center in South Portland. His whole business, cash for bottles and cans, he says the small water bottles that would be banned comprise a third of his volume. Nobody can take a 30% hit in industry and survive. I have employed disabled, challenged people, recovering addicts, people just out of prison. They're good people, they work, and they will lose jobs. The entire industry will close if this bill is passed right away. The proposed ban would leave soda and juice bottles alone. The International Bottled Water Association noted its products are a healthy consumer choice. No sugar, caffeine, or calories. Poland Spring noted that it's committed to 100% recycled bottles for its still water starting next year. Meanwhile, in Augusta, other bills would ban the use of plastic straws. And on the other side of the debate, bills would reverse a yet-to-take effect ban on single-use plastic bags. Live in Old Orchard Beach, Phil Hirschkorn, WMTW News 8.